Today, we built this 4K gaming monster. We are going to build a desktop gaming computer that can outperform Xbox One, PS4, and pretty much any other computer that anybody has that I know of. It's a super computer, basically. I bought the parts online a couple days ago and spent over 1700 bucks. I didn't buy any other peripherals for the computer. It's just straight up desktop computer power. All of the uh, Basically, a lot of the cost was in the graphics cards, which I got two GeForce GTX 970s super clocked, and each one cost about 340 bucks. So that was quite a bit of cost right there. It's going to be liquid cooled, 16 gigs of RAM, motherboard. Right here we have two 4 gig Vengeance Corsair RAM sticks. Uh, these are not actually mine. I borrowed them off of Jeremy. The 16 gigs of RAM I purchased have not arrived yet. Um, I'm still waiting on the Blu-ray player too, and we have a stand-in. We have a substitute disk drive that Jeremy let me borrow, which we are permanently going to leave that in the case just because. So I'm letting, to have you, I'm letting you borrow it permanently. Yeah, permanent borrowing <laughs> system there. So yes, we have everything we need. Um, the motherboard is a Sabertooth 990FX R2.0 motherboard from the Ultimate Force. No, it's from Asus. So this motherboard has a box with all of the features. It is a very, very nice box. I very much like it, which is horrible grammar. <laughs> anyway, well, that's the same start. motherboard we used in Lincoln's build, if you remember that video. Yes. So, we can start by unboxing the motherboard. Are you going to talk about the case at all? Eventually. Let's start by uh, like talking about the case. Let's, let's unbox the already unboxed case. Yes, the case is already unboxed. Let's bring it into the shot here. on the ramp. <laughs> right. So we have this case. It is a very nice case. It cost 115 bucks, but it had a $30 rebate on it, so it's going to be 85 at the end. It has its own headphone little stand thing, flip down here. thing here. Yeah. The headphone stand thing works too. Check this out. But bam It even matches the case. Yes, it does. You need a pair of those headphones now. Those are cheap headphones. <laughs> the mic's not great, but the speakers sound good. Uh, I have some expensive headphones. <laughs> <laughs> the top of the case has a hard drive slot, I guess you could call it. A hard drive slot, right, right from the power button. We got two 3.0 USB ports, two 2.0 USB ports and an eSATA drive port thing, whatever. We've got fan LEDs, low, high reset buttons. We've got everything over here. Got headphone jack, microphone jack right on the top. Easy to access, and that will be fantastic when f during use. There are no buttons on the front as of right now. There are four slots on the front for, for, for yeah, whatever those are, drives. It. Yes, there are four slots on the front for drives. Each of them pop out pretty easily. Um, very nice, very nice looking things. Motherboard. Let's open up this bad boy. There we go. So we'll open up this thing here. Whoa. Wow, that is beautiful. As you can see, this is a motherboard. got all the ports it needs and then some and then some yeah got the uh, CPU what is that called the CPU socket. loading dog <laughs> loading dog <laughs> loading dock <laughs> no. socket whatever you want to call it I guess got lots of stuff on here and then on the back we have nice things we've got four USB 3.0 ports we've got eight USB 2.0 ports, Ethernet port, six audio ports, and that old thing, whatever PS2. that is. Yeah, PS2. What else does the box have in the motherboard? Save the cables. All right. 
And then we've got two packs of SATA cables. The like, Asus extra. like Q connector, the like quick connect or something. And yeah. so you can all your case wires, so you can see it better. You plug them in here, and then this thing just makes it easy. Cool. And we also have... That is the SLI bridge, which we will be using. We will be using this SLI bridge because we have two graphics cards. So we will use the SLI bridge to connect them. There's a uh, user guide with very nice information. That was a quick read. <laughs> and the driver's CD. Driver's CD, yes. And the sticker. And the there's case. a sticker! Yay! Stickers. <laughs> for the I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use the stickers. Next, we shall move on to the hard drive. This is a WD one terabyte blue hard drive, 64 megabyte cache. 7200 SATA, RPM. 7200 RPM. It's pretty basic. It's a typical hard drive. It's just Got all our connectors. Drive. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, we've already went over this disk drive, simple disk drive, it's old. It's from 2007. Seven. It says it right there, actually, July 2007. I found it in an old computer, and I was like, ah, here, you can have this. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to put that in there for disk purposes. PCIe adapter, wireless N, 300 megabits per second data rate. It's fast. Fast, easy, stable. Cool. And it's Asus, because we like them. <laughs> yes. It is or at least I like them, and I... Asus. Yeah. In search of incredible. Sweet. So I like them, and I help pick out parts so that... Whoopsie, I just dropped something. That would be your antenna, sir. I just dropped the antenna, one of them. There are. We've got a disc. Oh, why we would need a disc. Another anti-static bag, very nice. Yeah, anti-static foam, which is also very, very nice. That is very nice. We've got a That's the card. wireless network thing, card. Got the card here. Two spots for the antennas. Let's put it back in the bag. Mm -hmm. And then also a low pro profile bracket, but we will not be using this because it's not a low profile case. Right. Let's move on to the processor. AMD oh. FX processor, black edition. It is actually an FX8350. 4 gigahertz, 4.2 with max turbo. and Right. The 8 core, like, I think, was it 16 megabyte cache? I'm getting to that. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited about those. 16 megabyte total cache. The box is a little damaged, but it so should the, be fine. So is the metal tin mine came in. AMD processor. Here's the actual processor. Yeah, and Super sticker. small. Yes, and a sticker. I'm going to use that sticker somewhere. Comment below where you think I should use the sticker. <laughs> if it's not already box, applied. <laughs> we have the heat sink and fan. That we will not be using. Right, we will not be using this heat but sink we'll show and it fan off anyways. <laughs> because we have a liquid cooling system that we'll be using. But in case that ever needs returned, he can stick this on there while he's waiting on a new one right. of those to arrive. I am Just don't to touch, this. don't touch the gray. Don't touch the gray? Right. That is the, the thermal gray. paste. You don't want to touch that. Right. It'll get okay. all over you. <laughs> so here it is. You got it. Here it is. Yes, there it is. The heat pipes and stuff. Don't touch the gray. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have a crucial 2.5 inch SSD. By Micron. <laughs> yes, by Micron. I, I like them. That doesn't matter. Be, well, I like them because our first computer was an old Micron with like a penny oh. one. Oh, yeah, cool. 2.5 inch solid state drive. Bam. 250 gigabytes. 240 gigabytes. 40? Oh. 240 gigabytes. Wow, you went with a cheap one. It was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> What's 10 gigabytes? You got 1,000 in the, that thing. Yeah. Where so, was? this is a pretty standard SSD. Next, we will look at the EVGA 1000 watt gold power supply. It's, some say it's powered by nuclear. Oh, it's very heavy, actually. Heavier than I would expect from a power supply. But it is a big power supply. Okay, that is a lot of cables. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. That's not all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of cables here. <laughs> there, well, that one's attached. These are, these are attached. Mm -hmm. 1,000 watt. <laughs> That's a beast. This thing is a beast, jeez. It's got everything labeled. So I'm pretty sure it's long. I think mine's only about this long. Wow. <laughs> it's a big power supply. And that's a big fan. That is that is a large fan. It's 120 probably? Oh, Alright, so it's got a cool EVGA Velcro wrap. I find that fine. Very nice. Got all the ports in the back. Very cool. A little teeny tiny switch that's very tiny. 
Oh wow, that is small. Oh, that's just the eco switch. Oh, huh. It's not even an on-off switch. That's weird. I've never seen one with an eco switch. Yeah, that's weird. I'll leave it off. Who cares? All right, here's the back. Oh, there's the actual switch. Yeah. Okay, so it's got a pretty normal thing there. All right, let's put it back in the box and go straight to the liquid cooler. We have the H90 liquid cooler with a 140 millimeter fan. Right, we've got this little black and white user manual thing. How cheap are them not to use color? <laughs> Less cost, I guess. Got all these brackets and such, apparently. Mounting brackets? Yeah, mounting brackets with screws, nuts, bolts, whatever. Here's the fan, I'm guessing. It's not much of a guess because I can see it in there. Fan. This is 140 millimeters right here. This is this is a fan right here. <laughs> that is a man's fan. That is a man fan. A fan of the man. Mm. Gotta be a man to have this fan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we'll set this aside. There's your radiator. Here we have a very high quality. And then here's your water block. Nice. Don't touch that gray. That's the thermal paste. All right. So we've got the thermal paste. We'll leave the plastic on for now. It's got so many screws around that whole thing. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, it's gotta be watertight. Right, but it's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, we've got some high quality hoses. Quite flexible, but they seem pretty sturdy. Can't squeeze them. Can't, or can't like crush push them. them together. Yeah, I can't crush them. But yeah, this is awesome. So yeah, got some nice radiator in there. All right. We'll put that aside. It was fully sealed, maintenance free guarantee. And now we move on to our last but not least EVGA GeForce GTX 970 Superclocked graphics card with 4 gigabyte GDDR5 RAM. There we go. And you still can't see it. You're not allowed. <laughs> Oh, yours came out right side up, mine did not. Because <laughs> we put it in the back upside down. <laughs> I guess. Adapters and cables that we do not actually need. And here they are. With These a nice beauties. protective coating. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm Leave not it on for now. <laughs> here they are. Two of them. Protective coatings, coatings, casings, Cover rubber room. things, covers yeah. on everything. Same graphics card I have, but I only have one. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be double what he has. He got not, his ne not necessarily double the performance, actually. Double the graphics cards, though. Right. One of the best features of these graphics cards, they each come with a poster. <laughs> That's the best feature. One of the best features. Not the SLI, not the fact that they have 970, that they have a poster. They come with a poster for free. Free poster included. And look at this poster. That is cool. That is a cool poster. And it says arm yourself with EVGA. There we go. Yeah. 